Hey everyone, welcome to another adventure. I am camped right now, less than a mile outside of the Yellowstone National Park boundary. I'm six tenths of a mile away. I spent all day today fishing in the National Park and had some good success there. And uh, as I was driving from the section of the park that I was in toward the town of West Yellowstone, I, uh, I saw a little side road. Sorry, there's some mosquitoes out here. I saw a little side road leading off uh, into the National Forest. And I thought, you know what? I bet there's campsites up there. And there were. This is the main dirt road out here. And then I saw this little side road branching off. There's a potential campsite here. And then the one I'm at is a little bit more hidden and, and tucked away. Pretty little spot. I'm alone on this trip. Cassie and Bowser couldn't come, unfortunately, but I have Cassie's car. That's right, I'm camping in her 2002 Toyota Highlander. I'll open up the back here and show you my setup for this trip. This is an air mattress right here. And it's um, it comes in in two sides. And I just have one side filled up right now, my side. Uh, I deflated this side. They're connected, but you can independently fill up each side. And so anyway, my bed is over on this side. I've got the cooler right here with my food on top of it. And then we have a couple of bins, a couple of plastic bins, one here, one here. Let me give you a better view of those. This bin has my fishing gear and this bin has miscellaneous items. Uh, this backpack is mostly clothes and then there are some drinks in here and some, uh, you know, my camp chair and then there are books right here. And then we've got uh, some of the products that I make. So the cargo hammock is right there. The grab handle pocket is right there. The bug screeners are right here. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little tour this evening of the camp setup that I'm using. It is about seven o'clock, have about an hour and a half of daylight left now. I'm gonna have a peanut butter sandwich for dinner, super fancy stuff, and then I'll just get ready for bed and enjoy uh, enjoy camping out here in the, in the wilderness. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in Yellowstone National Park where I have some really fun adventures planned. Good morning guys. So I am at Old Faithful right now. I'm at, at, in the Old Faithful parking area in Upper Geyser Basin. I didn't plan on coming here. I actually was gonna do a different hike in a different geyser thermal area, um, but it was really misty and uh, cloudy and you couldn't really see a whole lot in that area. So I decided, what the heck, let's go to Old Faithful. Old Faithful of course being a super famous geyser. Um, I've been to Old Faithful before and I've seen Old Faithful erupt, but I haven't explored the surrounding area. There are lots of other geysers and thermal pools and interesting things to see in the Old Faithful area that I haven't seen, all in Upper Geyser Basin. So that's what we're gonna do today. Talked to a couple people. They're not sure when it goes off, but uh, they heard around 7.30 and that's in the next 10 or 15 minutes. So I'll stick around and Wait for the eruption and show you guys. That is so cool. The view's better from over on this side. Well, that was neat, but that wasn't as good as the first time I saw it. Um, the the steam, the high amount of steam, I'm guessing because of the because of the cold air, it, it kind of obscured the you know, the spout of water. Still fun to see. All right, so the visitor center had a, a nice screen with some geyser times listed, uh, estimated eruption times with a little margin of error, like plus or minus 20 minutes or whatever. So I've got a good idea of where I want to be and when I want to be there. It is not crowded at all right now. It's eight o'clock and uh, I feel like I've got this area all to myself once I left the boardwalk around Old Faithful. This thing just started burping to life. Oh. 
Hello. That one was amazing and I didn't I didn't expect to see that but that was that was really spectacular especially with um, with the rainbow I don't know if you could see it on film but there was a, a rainbow made in the mist of the geyser You know, it's days like today and places like this that make me very happy that I make videos instead of uh, take pictures only because this place is made for video. You've got bubbling, hissing, steaming, gurgling, flowing. This area that I'm in is called Upper Geyser Basin. It's the area that Old Faithful is in, and it has the majority of the world's active geysers. I wonder how many I can see today. Maybe I'll make that the theme of this video. I'm at Daisy Geyser. It's supposed to erupt sometime in the next 40 minutes or so. That eruption lasted for a few minutes and it was really neat. Definitely worth worth visiting, worth waiting for. I only had to wait about 20 minutes for it. So wasn't wasn't too bad. I really like this one. This is called Punch Bowl Spring. That's a great name. Very satisfying name. It looks like a giant tree, like a giant sequoia or redwood, has been cut and then hollowed out. I'm now heading to Black Sand Basin. It's a smaller basin off to the side a little bit. It seems to be about a 10 minute walk each way from, uh, from kind of the main area. And if you want to follow along with me on this hike here, I'll try to find a map of, of this area and include it in the description or in the comments so you can, uh, so you can have an idea of where exactly I am and in relation to everything else.
I left Black Sand Basin. I'm on the trail back to the main area. And then uh, there are a couple more things to see in the main area. And then I'll take the trail for a mile or two away to Biscuit Basin, which is a third geothermal area and one that I have not been to. We are at Biscuit Basin now. Big parking lot, pretty full, but it uh, doesn't look too bad out on the boardwalk. I'm gonna go do a loop through Biscuit Basin and head back a few miles back that way. Oh, Jesse. Well, Biscuit Basin was neat. That blue pool, sapphire pool, was absolutely worth seeing. And that little geyser was, uh, was a nice touch, nice little cherry on top. I'm gonna walk now back to a geyser that I passed earlier but didn't show you guys because it wasn't erupting. It's called Riverside Geyser. It's right on the river, and I'm gonna go wait for it to erupt. Uh, I might be waiting for a while, for half an hour to an hour or so. And then as soon as I'm done getting my fill of that one, I need to run to another one that's supposed to, eru that's supposed to erupt soon after that. So uh, got a busy few hours ahead of me here. Well, that was awesome. That was a really, really great geyser. I left after about five minutes because I have another geyser to get to. That was spectacular. It was definitely worth the wait. Waited about an hour. Uh, it lasted for about, I think, 10 or 11 minutes. It was like watching a fireworks show. The sound, the shooting, like the salvos of water going up in the air. That was so cool. That was the best thing I've seen today.
So overall, today was an amazing day in Yellowstone National Park. I am exhausted. I think it was like 11 or 12 miles of hiking. And if I counted correctly, I believe I saw eight geysers today. I saw a couple others that are like bubbling geysers, like they're still called geysers, but they weren't like shooting. And so eight, I believe is the number, eight geysers in one day. After leaving Grand Geyser, I actually did a few other things in the national park. I went on top of a, a hill called Observation Point, had a nice view of the of the geyser basin area and of yellow and of uh, Old Faithful and all the buildings and parking lots and everything around Old Faithful. Not sure if that was really worth doing, but I wanted to do it. And then I drove to go check out a creek that I might fish tomorrow. Along the way, I went to a really pretty waterfall called Virginia Cascades, I think. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna finish getting ready for bed. Let me know if you have any questions. I uh, I just had a great day. Yellowstone is, is um, you know, I've always liked Yellowstone, but it's quickly turning into one of my top couple of favorite national parks. I really, really love it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.